Today we're going to read a book called Vibrations Make Sound by Jennifer Boothroyd. Think for a minute about that word sound. Turn and tell your buddy what you know about sound. Good job, readers. You know a lot about sound. Now talk with your partner about how sound can change. Excellent. I heard some of you say there are loud sounds and quiet sounds. Today we're going to learn what makes sounds different. Vibrations make sound. What is sound? Sound is everywhere. Sound is what we hear. You can't see sound. Sound moves through the air. Some sounds are short. Some sounds last longer. Sounds can be quiet. Sounds can be loud. On the last few pages, we read some ways sound can be different. Long, short, quiet, loud. Turn and tell your buddy some things that make quiet sounds. Good job, readers. Now turn and tell your buddy what are some things that make loud sounds. Good job, readers. So we are learning about things that make quiet sounds, things that make loud sounds, things that make short sounds, things that make long sounds. For example, a fire alarm is long and loud. What makes sound? Sound is made when something vibrates. Vibrations are types of movement. Rubbing things together makes vibrations. We just learned an important word that has to do with sound, vibration. Let's feel what a vibration feels like. Put your hand on your neck gently. Now hum quietly like this. Hum. Can you feel your throat moving a little bit? That's a vibration. Now be perfectly silent. Do you feel the vibration? No, of course not. When there is no sound, there is no vibration. Now try humming again. Hmm. See if different sounds change the vibrations in any way. Different vibrations make different sounds. You can hear a bat hitting a ball. A hit makes vibrations. You can hear air blowing through a whistle. Air makes vibrations. Can you make sound? Clap your hands. Clap your hands harder to make a louder sound. Hands can vibrate against each other. Your throat vibrates when you speak. Say a few words. Rub your shoes on the floor. You can make quiet sounds. Knock on a door. Tap your pencil on your desk. What other sounds can you make? We just read about a lot of different types of sounds. If we hear a sound, we know something is vibrating. Tapping a pencil makes a sound. If you turn it on the other side and tap the pencil on the sharpened side, it makes a different sound. Ringing a bell makes a sound. What is vibrating with each sound? When you tap the pencil, the pencil is vibrating. When you ring the bell, the bell is vibrating. Today we learned that vibrations are caused by sounds.
think of something that makes a quiet sound and something that makes a loud sound. Think about how the vibrations might be different with a quiet sound and a loud sound. You could even draw a picture of something that makes a quiet sound and something that makes a loud sound. You can add wavy lines to each picture to show what the vibrations might look like. Good job readers learning all about sound.